Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog. Today we're going to be talking about VNAV, vertical and navigation. Let's get to it. We're all familiar with uh, lateral navigation uh, along a flight plan or, or set of waypoints that will guide us laterally to uh, along a route. But what about VNAV, vertical navigation? Modern airliners, like the Airbus that I fly, have a flight management system that computes the vertical path of the airplane uh, automatically. But what if we don't have an FMS, like in the Hornet? There are a few formulas that we can use, and I'm going to show them to you today. So, so the first scenario we're going to be looking at is a planned descent. So let's say I want to descend from our current altitude, 25,000 feet, and I want to go down to 10,000 feet. So I have to lose 15,000 feet. For the purpose of our calculations, we're only going to use the hundreds of feet. So 15,000 feet will become 150,150. And now if I want to do that on a 5 degree descent, I divide by 5. So 150 divided by 5 means that I'm going to need 30 miles to descend. So if we start our descent here at 49, and I push down on the nose to get 5 degrees nose down, we should be at 10,000 feet at 19 miles from the Las Vegas TACAN. Let's speed it up. And as we're coming down, we can do uh, cross-checking of our math. So coming up on uh, 15,000, that's 5,000 feet I need to lose. So 50 divided by 5, 10 miles, we're 28.6. I said we were going to be level at 19. We're looking good. There's 10,000 feet. And 19 miles, right on the money. This time we're going to be calculating the required flight path angle in order to meet an altitude and distance restriction uh, like ATC could give you. So air traffic controllers are just giving us a clearance to descend at 10,000 feet and to be level at uh, 10 DME from the Las Vegas TACAN. So from 20,000 feet to 10,000 feet, we need to lose 10,000. We'll knock off the last two zeros. So we'll work with 100. And we will start our descent at 20 DME from the Las Vegas Tacken, and we need to be level at 10 DME. So we have 10 miles to do it. So 100 divided by 10 gives us a required flight path angle of 10 degrees. Let's try this out. So where we go, ATC tells us to descend at 10,000 to be level at 10 DME. So we push the nose over to 10, just like we calculated. And again, 10,000 feet at 10 DME, not bad, eh? Here's something else I wanted to show you. Most ILS glide paths are based on a three degree slope. And if you're flying on a three degree slope, you can uh, know what your rate of descent should be. Quick formula, your current ground speed divided by two times 10. So our current ground speed is roughly 150 knots divided by two, that would be 75 times 10, 750 feet per minute and we're doing 820 feet a minute at this time. This works for, this is a good formula for uh, three degree slope approaches. It always works out to be half of your ground speed times 10, and it's gonna give you your required uh, rate of descent for a three degree slope approach. I hope this was helpful and see you next time.